Hi friends, I would like to talk to you about the value of repetition in a yoga practice. So there are some forms of yoga that do the exact same thing every practice, and then others where there's a lot of creativity and innovation, and um, you might do something different every time you step on your mat. And uh, I fall somewhere in, the, in between. I think that I use a lot of repetition and then try and give some variety. Uh, and I think there's a lot of pressure to, to give variety. I know for me, when, um, whenever I do something I haven't done in a long time or something new, my students always perk up and, oh, that was great. You know, there's something about being entertained and um, surprised uh, that helps us keep our attention, which feels good. So what I want to talk about is the value of doing the exact same thing and the opportunity that that provides. So when you do the same thing over and over again, the mind thinks it knows. And so that there's a, a strong tendency to mind wander. And that's probably what we're trying to avoid with constant newness is like, keep me engaged. I want to feel focused. I want to feel present during my practice. So the opportunity that that also provides when the mind thinks it knows is to practice going subtle, going deep, and being present with the mystery that really we can't know. Even if you're doing something you've done thousands of times before, and some of these poses we've done thousands of times before. So you hear or uh, someone says, come into down dog. Okay, down dog, I know that. Your body comes into autopilot and then the mind is free to do something else. So the suggestion or the offering is instead of finding something new all the time or going through the motions and having your mind wander, bringing this meditative quality into the physical practice. So your body is in a way on autopilot, at least the bigger parts. Like, okay, I know where my arms are going. I don't know where my legs are going. I don't have to put much mental energy into those things so that my mental energy is freed up for this subtle body exploration. What are the tiny little things that I might feel or discover? And at the same time, just like a seated meditation, just observing what's happening, allowing it, and noticing when my mind wanders, and then bringing it back. So it really can be that the whole physical practice is a meditation, just like you would do sitting. But instead of being in stillness, it's this constant moving, which on one hand you may know because you've done it before, but on the other hand you have this opportunity for infinite depth and subtlety. So exploring all the little things about the pose, about your changing body. So if you find yourself doing something similar over and over again, celebrate that and the opportunity that it provides to uh, have a meditative experience and an inner exploration of infinite depth.